In games, scale helps create a sense of realism. It also helps to ensure the models follow a consistent scale. This is easy if you are making the models yourself, but what if you're using an asset pack? Or if you're working on a team? In these cases, managing scale can get fairly tricky. Lucky for us, there are some tools available to make it easier. Godot 4 allows us to import models with a root scale applied. This will scale the model internally, and I used this to fix the scale on Kenny's city pack in the Invasion of Terrace. Godot follows Blender, which uses the real-world metric system. So an X position of 2.3 would be 2.3 meters to the right of the origin. This allows us to ensure that the models match the real-world measurements of what is being represented. Or better yet, to create a fantastical sense when going beyond these normal proportions. For Kenny's city pack, the road tiles are made to be one unit by one unit. So in Godot, that's one meter squared. This is fairly unrealistic, and with a player character made to be about 1.6 meters tall, it feels more like a kaiju game than anything else. I used the import tab to re-import all of the models with a root scale of 10. This changed the tiles to be 10 meters across, which isn't perfect, but it looks close enough. Of course, in the case that you are working on a team to produce the models, I highly recommend agreeing on a consistent scale, even if it is different from the metric scale that Blender and Godot use. As long as everything is the same size, you'll have an easier time integrating the models into your game. If you like my tutorials, you can buy me a coffee or two on my Ko-fi. Best luck out there, and thanks for watching.